hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be drafting the pattern for this basic female trouser so if you're interested in that please keep on watching and let's get started so first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to draw a straight line across to serve as the side of our trouser so now i'm going to take this top as the waistline and what i'm going to do is to extend my tape by one and a half inch because i want to have a one and a half inch band so from this top here i came down to eight inches which is my hip line so you're going to measure from your waist down to your hip to get your hip line so after that i'm going to still extend my tape and then i came down to 11 inches here which is my crouch measurement and you can see in the picture right here how you can get your own crouch measurement now to get our tie line i am coming down from the crouch line by four inches so come down by four inches from your crouch measurement and just label this the tie line so this is our tie line now still taking note of the one and a half inch i'm leaving at the top i came down to 20 inches which is my knee line and i'm just going to also draw this line across this is the knee line and then lastly still taking note of the one and a half inch I'm going to mark the full length of this trouser. I'm sorry that that part of the um, pattern paper is not showing, but the full length of my trouser is actually 38 inches. So that's the exact length of the pattern paper. So that was just perfect. So after doing that, now on the hip line, as you can see, I'm marking my hip measurement divided by four and an added extra one inch for ease. So I'm, I marked that on the hip line, on the crouch line, and I'm also going to mark it on the waistline. So I'm going to just go ahead and join these three points together with my ruler. Next, you're going to take the measurement in between this point here, just where you see me taking the measurement around. And we're going to divide the measurement we have here by four. So I'm just basically doing this on my tape rule like this. So now I'm going to extend my tape from that point out. So this is going to be give us that crouch depth that we're going to have. So after that, from the middle of my crouch, I'm going to come out by one inch. Can you see what I just did? So I'm just going to connect these three points now into the hip line to give me my crouch curve. Now to get our waist measurement, I'm going to take my measurements now from this crouch line here. So I'm going to mark towards the side. So I divided my waist measurement by four and marked it here. Then I added one inch extra for stitching allowance and then another one inch for my dart intake. So after marking those points, I'm just going to join the last point into the hip line, just like I just did. So after doing that, the next thing you're going to do is to come to this crouch line and you're going to take the measurement from the side down to the end of the crouch. And what I just did was to divide that measurement by two. So I divided it by two and I marked it on the crouch line. And I'm also going to repeat that measurement on the waistline and also on the tie line. You can see I'm taking it from this side on the knee line. And also I will do the same thing on the end of the pants so this basically means that i'm dividing this trouser into two equal halves so this line here is going to be the middle of my trouser i hope you understand so guys after getting this middle line which is our green line now i'm going to mark all my measurements from the middle of this line so whatever measurement i have i will divide it from the middle of the line so now on the tie line my tie measurement divided by two so my tie measurement is 21 that divided by two is about 10 and a half so i will divide 10 and a half by two again to get the middle so the middle of that i'll place it in the middle of this line can you see so i'm going to now separate here and then mark it here 10 and a half as well so i divided that measurement from the middle so now the knee line i'm also going to divide my knee measurement by two and then divide it again and divide and share that measurement from the middle so that is eight inches so i'm going to mark four on both sides 
I hope you understand. And then on the end of the trouser, my ankle measurement is going to be seven and a half, seven inches, and half of that is three and a half. So I'll share three and a half to both sides of the line. I actually hope that you guys understand this um thing that I'm just trying to explain. So after doing that, what I'm just basically going to do is to join these points all the way around with my curl through. Just look at how I'm joining the points together. So guys, after doing that, the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is to mark my dart. So first thing I went ahead to do is to come down from this middle line by 4 inches, still leaving that 1.5 inch um, band we have at the top. So after that, I'm going to just go in and out on both sides by half of an inch, just like we always do. And then I'm going to connect it together. So guys, our dart is ready and it's time to just work on our zipper fly which is actually very easy so i'm just going to basically come out from this line here by two inches and i'll just come down a little bit and mark another two inches so i'm just going to make a straight line to meet the hip line like this and after doing that i'll just use my curve drill to just curve the other part into the crouch line so that is basically it for the fly zipper and that's basically all for almost all for the cutting of this front pattern so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut everything out so now the next thing i want to do is to go ahead and cut out my pocket so what i want to do is to go in from this waistline by two inch can you see and then on the side you come down by six inches so now the shape you want for your pocket totally differ so you can just go straight like this and just mark a slant line that is totally fine but i decided i wanted it to have like a curve so i'm using my curve drill to mark this out so this is how my pocket is going to look so i'm going to be using this front pattern to cut out the back so that's why i'm cutting a little bit away from this um, fly zipper so that it can easily be folded in so that i'll be able to use this pattern to cut out the back so now as you can see i folded in the fly zipper for the purpose of the cutting of the back can you see so i just folded it in because we don't need the fly zipper for the back so i'm just placing this front pattern on the back piece leaving some space up here and on this side so we're going to go ahead now and start taking our measurements for the back so guys from this crouch line here i'm going to come out by two inches from the front pattern so i'm going to mark it here if you're on a bigger size you can go ahead and mark about three to three and a half inches out so i'm going to also come out on this hip line and mark that two inches as well and then from this gray line this middle line we got earlier i'm going to take a measurement towards the front too much the crouch area i hope you understand from the crouch to this middle line here and i'm going to divide the measurement i have there so once i divide it i'm going to mark the point here and from this new point i'll go up by two inches can you see so i'll go up by two inches and now to get the crouch for the back, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this front pattern and just join these three points together with a curve. Now the curve might not be as curvy as it is in front. It's totally fine. It's actually totally fine. So this is how it looks when you draw out this curve like this. So this is totally fine. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to measure out the waist I have in front. And it's eight inches now you know we have to ensure that our waist at the back as well is eight inches so i just measured from the new back line to get an eight inch measurement for the waist and it is slanted can you see and it ended just where the front line ended 
So after that, next thing I'm going to go ahead and do now is to add one inch to all my measurements. So all the lines that I had before, I'm adding one inch around and then I will just connect the waistline I have now with the one inch measurement I did around the front pattern. So I'll just go ahead and do the same thing from, for the other side. Add one inch away from the front pattern and then just connect all the points all the way to the end. So this is what I have. Now when you remove the front pattern, this is it for the back. This is what we have for the back. Now for the back, we're going to mark where we want our dart to be because there's a dart in front as well. So I'm going to mark my nipple to nipple measurement here. And then I'm going to take note of the band we have up there, just like I did in front. And I'm going to mark a straight line, you can see. And then I'll go in and out from this straight line by half of an inch, just like I always do when I'm marking my dart. And I'm just going to connect the points. So this is basically all for the back pattern. I'm just going to go ahead now and cut this out. But even that could change, you could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. So guys, this is the back pattern. It's ready, and this right here is the front. So you can see our fly zipper is still here. So now the next thing I want to go ahead and do is on this uh, front pattern. Now we can go ahead and cut out this pocket area. So that we'll be able to cut the pocket actually on another piece of pattern paper. So I'm placing the pocket area of this um, trouser on another piece of pattern paper just like you see me doing like this. And I'm just going ahead to trace out the curve and everything right here on the side. So after doing that, I'm just folding in this paper like this because I'm trying to get the pocket so from the top here we're going to come down to about 10 inches and on this side i would advise that you use seven inches mine right now is eight inches and i figured that after i was done it was a little bit too wide so i'm just going to cut this place which is the 10 inches and i'm going to now just cut the other part but before i finish cutting it i just want to place the actual trouser back and arrange everything in place with the pocket and on this waistline i'm going to mark my waist measurement that we had before it was eight inches so i'm marking it on the pocket so that i can go ahead and curve the waistline into that eight inches so that it's exactly um the same waistline that we had before so this is it for the pocket i'm going to go ahead and make a curve around here later but we'll do that when i'm cutting on the actual fabric so this is the pocket and lastly, the last thing I'm going to go ahead and do now after all these patterns is to go ahead and cut out my band. So the length of my band is 2 inches right now because um, I'm going to use half an inch for stitching allowance. And then for the round waist of my band, my waist is 24 inches. So I have an extra about 2 inches here because this um, band is going to have like an overlapping in front. So for me, my waist is 24 inches and right now this is cut out with 26 inches. So that's it for the band. So these are all the patterns we'll be needing to make this um, trouser. I went ahead to cut this out on my actual fabric. And after I was done, this is how my trouser came out very nice so if you want to see the sewing part of this you definitely want to subscribe and watch out for my next video